Hi guys, so this is the continuation. Step 7. Locate the two power supply cables that came with your computer. Plug the first power supply cable into the back of the computer case and then into a search protector. Then using the other cable, connect the monitor to the search protector. You can also use an interruptible power supply UPS which acts as a search protector and provides temporary power if there is a power outage. Step 8. Finally, plug the search protector into a wall outlet. You may also need to turn on the search protector if it has a power switch. If you don't have a search protector, you can plug the computer directly into the wall. However, this is not recommended because electrical surges can damage your computer. Step 9. If you have a printer, scanner, webcam, or other peripherals, you can connect them at this point. Many peripherals are plug and play, which means they will be recognized by your computer as soon as they are plugged in. Other peripherals may include software that needs to be installed before you can begin using them. Use the instructions included with the device to install it if necessary. Generally, peripherals are optional and you can add new ones at any time. You don't have to add all peripherals during the initial setup of your computer. Using a computer the main screen you'll start from is the desktop. This is sort of like a main menu or a table of contents. From here, you can access the programs and features you need to use your computer. Icons are used to represent the different files, applications, and commands on your computer. An icon is a small image that's intended to give you an idea at a glance of what it represents, like a logo, Double-clicking an icon on the desktop will open that application or file. The start menu and, ta and taskbar. At the edge of the screen, usually the bottom edge, you will see a long thin bar with a box labeled start on one end and a clock on the other end. This is the taskbar, another graphic tool that helps you to access programs and files. You may see, the I you may see icons on the taskbar too. These are called quick launch icons, quick launch icons that allow one click access to frequently used programs. The start menu gives us access to programs help and recently used. Computer's file system. No matter which operating system you use, your computer uses folders to organize all of the different files and applications it contains. Folder icons on your computer are designed to look like file folders full of documents or pictures. Each operating system has its own file system, which helps you find your folders and files. If you have a Windows PC, you'll use the File Explorer, as also known as Windows Explorer. If you have a Mac, you'll use a Finder. Opening your computer's file system. Whether you're using a Windows or a Mac, the file system icon will be in the bottom left part of the screen. In both operating systems, you can also open the file system by clicking a folder from your desktop. Deleting files. OS X and Windows use a trash can or recycle bin. To prevent you from accidentally deleting files, when you delete a file, it is moved to the trash can. If you change your mind, you, you can move the file back to its original location. If you want to permanently delete the file, you will need to empty the trash or recycle bin. To do this, right-click the, the icon and select Empty. Opening files and applications. Each application on your computer has a group of file types or formats. It is able to open. When you double-click a file, your computer will automatically use the correct application to open it. In our example, we're opening a Microsoft Word document Chicago trip details, which will open in Microsoft Word. To open an application in Windows, click the Start button. 
So, yun lang muna for today, guys. Bye!